video. So we're going to be looking at today MC Dresser and MC Occult. So let's dive right in. We have in MC Dresser ages to run on a belt. So it's basically you run dress to clean up on Sims as they age up to the specif uh, specified ages. Uh, blank will result in no automatic dresser cleanup. So all of mine are blank. Um, if you want a specific age to have that, then you basically just click on it um, and it'll have that saved. Um, makeup settings. So you can run a makeup check, uh, makeup genders. So female, currently it's not selected for males. Um, for me, so the default value is, actually they're both default values, so I'm not too sure why they're both not selected. Um, but basically it sets the genders uh, valid to makeup. Um, so if you want both of them to have makeup, then it'll obviously all come up um, in the same when you're doing CAS. Uh, makeup ages, so at the moment it's teen, young adult and adult. Um, so you can change it to elder, child and toddler as well. Um, yeah, so it sets the ages valid to add makeup. Um, and if whitelist exists or to leave if they have random makeup. Um, so yeah. And you can also choose makeup for outfits. So everyday formal athletic sleep party um you can then choose bathing career situation special hot weather cold weather if you have sim seasons i unfortunately do not have sim seasons um but yeah that's all there so basically you just set the outfit categories um and yeah that's pretty straightforward male after career outfits um, so it specifies an outfit for played male sims to change into when getting home from work or school. Blank will leave them in their current outfit. So at the moment it's blank. So basically if your male sim comes home from work, they will stay in their work clothes generally. So if you want them to say come home and change into their formal wear, you can select formal wear. If you want them to come home and automatically change into their everyday wear, then you can change them into their everyday wear, etc. Um, that is obviously the same for famili uh, famil <laughs> female after career outfit as well. Um, only use save outfits. So basically when you're running you, your dresser clean, um, you can first try to use a random saved outfit if none exists for the current category, clean as usual. So try to enable that. Currently disabled. Percent use custom skin tone. So when a homeless sim is generated, use this percentage to determine if they should use defined custom skin tones or default skin tones. Um, so default value is zero, maximum value is 100. So obviously zero um, meaning default skin tone and then obviously 100% being 100% um, custom skin tones. So if you want 50, then obviously it's 50-50 of whether or not it's custom or default skin tone. Multiple outfit settings. Um, so multiple outfit, outfit percentage, um, the percentage chance that a game generated sim will have multiple, multiple outfits in each category. Um, so that's really cool. So if you've got like your, um, NPC sim, you can change this value to a hundred, which means that, um, obviously there's a hundred percent chance that they will have multiple outfits in each of the outfit categories. Um, so that's cool. Um, you can see, I guess like you, you, you do that generally in your own sim families that you create. Um, 
so that's pretty cool that then obviously other things that are randomly generated, you can have that setting as well. Um, maximum outfits. So the maximum number of outfits that will be generated if the multiple outfit percentage is reached, um, minimum value being one, maximum value being five. So obviously if you want five, then you can have five, et cetera. Multiple outfit ages. So they're all selected. If you don't want, oh, sorry, excuse me. Toddler is not selected. Um, I have child, teen, young adult, adult, and elder selected. Um, so if you want your toddlers to have multiple outfits, you can select that. If you don't want child, teen, etc. Like I said in my other videos, it's totally up to you guys what you want your settings to be, which is why it's such a great mod to have. Um, you can really play around with it and manipulate a lot in the game. Right, so we then have replace situation outfits. So date situation. Um, so if an outfit category is selected, the situation outfit normally worn for some situations of this category will be replaced with the outfit category specified. So basically if you go on a date, you can select formal or you can select party or athletic or everyday. Totally up to you. Um, I actually like that you have this ability so you don't then have to click on your sim and go change into this. Um, so yeah, romantic festival situation. So if you've got the um, city living pack and you've got the festivals, then obviously you can change so that it's maybe you want it to be formal, um, seeing as it's, I guess, romantic. Um, so yeah, you can play around with that. Again, humor festival, spice festival, and city walk by situation. Um, yeah, so that's all all in there, that's all the same. Um, right, so we will move on to now MC Occult. Um, so basically, you it's your alien, so you click on that and then it brings up all your settings for your alien. Um, so abduction settings, you have uh, your abduction frequency, abduction start time, length, um, your hours between abductions, abduction ages, and allow NPC abductions. So obviously you can go in normal alien contact, high alien contact, alien evasion, no alien contact. Um, that would be really cool, um, alien invasion. Um, so you can set that. Abduction start time, you can set that. Um, you can do the time length. Um, allow NPC abductions, apparently disable, um, and abduction ages. So at the moment it is young adult, adult and elder. Um, but obviously you can set it to child, uh, teen and toddler if you would like. Um, that would be very interesting, having your child abducted by an alien. My goodness. <laughs> um, abduction pregnancy settings. Um, so obviously the percent, if at the moment, it's at 30 with 100% being um, obviously 100% chance of um, being pregnant during an alien abduction. Um, so if you really want that alien baby, um, all you have to do is set it to 100. Um, abduction pregnancy genders. Um, so this sim genders allows for allowed for pregnancy to occur from abductions. Um, so the EA default is male only. Um, you can select it to female. I feel like females get missed out on in this, so I'm going to select that. Um, and pollinator gender. So um, allows setting the gender of the alien pollinator used to impregnate sims during abduction pregnancy. So I'm going to select male as well. So you can have both selected. Um, right, now we'll go down to maximum alien. 
Um, so it's basically the current number of aliens in the world. So um, it won't keep more aliens from gen uh, being generated, only born. So negative one is the default. Um, and the maximum value is 50. So you can play around with that if you want more aliens. Obviously change it higher to a, a higher value. Um, yeah. If you're into a lot of aliens being in your game, that this is definitely um, a MC command setting that you want to play around. Uh, forced alien disguise. So, when an alien moves into a lot that is not the alien homeworld, they will be forced into the appearance specified here. When they move into the homeworld lot, then remove their disguise. So, mine's a default. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that just means that, that what that just said. So, basically, if it's in its homeworld, it won't have the disguise, etc. Um, so you can either force the alien to have no disguise at all, or you can force the alien to just disguise. Um, I'm just going to leave it at default. Um, and then we can obviously go into other pregnancy. You can use custom pregnancy. Um, so if enabled, EA's default offspring may be overwritten by a cult offspring based on the percentages defined within its module. Um, so if, uh, if disabled... Default EA rules will be used. So if you want to enable it, basically that means that um, you can have the offspring overwritten by aliens, essentially. Um, so that, again, would be pretty interesting. Um, and then you've got custom and custom percentages. I can't talk today. This is crazy. Um, so alien and hybrid. Um, so basically just select the type of offspring below to specify the percentage for that offspring to be used in the current pregnancy rather than EA's default. So note that if zero is entered for both offspring types, then only human babies will be born. So if you click on alien, um, basically the percentage chance that parents will have alien babies delivered in the current pregnancy. So obviously mine's at zero at the moment. Um, and then hybrid is at 100. Um, so you can really play around with all that. Um, then you've got you like your hybrid. Um, then you've got alien and human, hybrid and human. Um, so yeah, again, it's totally up to you, but you can really customize um, all your aliens as well, um, which is really, really cool. Um, so that was MC Dresser and MC Occult for you guys. Um, the next videos will obviously go on to your MC Population Pregnancy Tuna and Google. Uh, so thanks guys.